my name is Martina Lucic. I'm your commentator for this ISSF event. And my last guest of the Granada ISSF World Cup and I actually share the same name. Youth Olympic Games silver medalist of 2014 with three World Cup medals to her name, Martina Lindsay Veloso of Singapore. Martina, welcome. Lovely to have you. Thanks, Martina. I'm very, very honored to be here and to be able to commentate the last event of this World Cup here in Granada. Um, thank you. Well, thank you for being here. You were in the finals of the last uh, World Championship in Baku. Can you lead us through the process of preparation for the finals? What did these women go through now before stepping onto the finals uh, final firing line yeah so um, right after the qualifications you know we had earlier in the day there's the first relay the second relay and now we have the final so some of us will try to go and get some rest you know get some food to eat to refuel ourselves and prepare prepare ourselves for you know the final because that's also uh, another mental game that we have to put ourselves through yeah definitely uh, the athletes uh, the, the women today actually had a little bit of a better score in qualification with the top score from Anna Janssen being 634.1. If I'm correct, the men had 633.9. So that's a slim difference, but just enough for women to be better in qualification. Do you think we're going to see that in the finals as well? Because their finals was uh, pretty exciting. Um, I think in the final, definitely anything can happen because, you know, when all eight athletes come into the final, everyone restarts from the bottom. So every single athlete has a chance to win the final. And I think that's one of the beautiful things about like the sport where you get a new chance and your score in the qualifications doesn't roll over. So it's like, you know, as long as I got in, I got a chance to win that medal. Absolutely. It was a format before. Uh, I don't know if you remember, and I'm not sure if you were shooting then, but I'm, I'm pretty sure actually you were. Uh, when it was like the, qualifi the the finals results actually add up to the qualification. So it was definitely a different game kind of back then. But uh, okay, so five minutes of preparation for these athletes. We're going to go through them and meet them a little bit more. This is uh, Yulia Piotrowska from Poland, the 22-year-old. She's got three World Cup bronze medals. She won all of them in 2022, but this could be her first individual one, actually. Sometimes uh, the coaches are actually their teammates as well, and <laughs> this is something that happens uh, in these uh, competitions because, you know, these athletes really uh, travel around. Sometimes there's two competitions happening at the same time, so you can't really be in two places at once for some of the coaches as well. On firing point B, the 21-year-old uh, from Hungary, mixed team bronze medalist with uh, Istvan Penny, who just won a silver against uh, Yeri Priradski, who won a gold in the men's finals. Esther Meseros, she's got 11 World Cup medals in total. And speaking of 11 World Cup medals in total, Aneta Stinkiewicz has them as well. 29-year-old from Poland, the second Polish athlete in this final. Last uh, medal she won was in Cairo just weeks ago, a bronze medal at the World Cup. So we'll see how that goes for her in, uh, in this competition. Maybe she'll take on uh, the momentum of that competition as well. 22-year-old Anna Janssen. We've seen her in uh, the mixed team event, winning the gold with Maximilian Dallinger yesterday, who finished seventh today, actually. From uh, Germany, she has placed uh, first after the qualification. And uh, she won the gold medal in the last World Cup in Cairo, as did Yeri Priradski, who just did it again today in the men's finals. So let's see if Anna keeps the momentum as well. Six World Cup golds to her name, three are individual events. And uh, next up we have from Korea, 21-year-old Kwon Unji. She's got one World Cup medal, and that was back from uh, Beijing, let's say, five years ago in 20, 2019. It was a silver medal, so she is opting for her second one, actually, today. Seijin Madalena of USA will be shooting in position F, the 30-year-old was fifth in Tokyo for the 50 meter three position actually. She won the bronze medal at uh, the world championship in Baku also in the 50 meter three position. She's got one bronze medal, one individual medal of World Cup. That was in Rio. Maybe even sarcastic. So we all need to make 
placed in the G point, 17 year old from Norway. Her mixed teammate Henrik Larsen was actually my guest in the rifle mixed team event. He mentioned uh, per Neil, and here she is now in the finals. Only only 17 opting for her first ever, ever medal in the World Cup. And uh, here is finally Austin Miller on firing point H. Definitely not someone who's opting for her first World Cup medal as this 21-year-old uh, has won two World Cups, both in the same year, in 2022 from Baku and from Cairo. Same year she won the World Cup final, actually. So uh, that was a good year for Ossan. Let's see how it goes for her today. Whew, that was a lot. Have we met yeah, everyone? Uh, <laughs> I think we have. <laughs> that is a lot of names and a lot of good shooters here. You know, it's the Olympic year. And yeah. you can see the scores are showing during the qualifications. It's really crazy high. And this goes to show that, you know, the sport is growing in a very, you know, um, high level and you know it's your skills it's so like your mental training your physical training it goes down to working with all aspects of high performance sport absolutely i think everybody's kind of getting into a really good form especially as uh, the olympics are approaching i'm sure everybody timed it in this uh, way to try and get as uh, good of a form at the olympics We're becoming silent now. <laughs> we're, just, uh, <laughs> we're just about to get into the first series of five. So it's going to be two series of five shots, first of all. After that, we go into the single shots. And after each two, the lowest ranking finalist is eliminated. So things get uh, pretty serious as we go into these single shots. But what are we feeling uh, in the first two two series you would say i'd say you know with the introductions and you know after all this we're trying to just keep the whole mental training or the just maintaining you know that composure that we have because we will be missing out shooting for a while and try not to get too distracted and just keep being in that whole zone that we are in and to just, you know, try not to be too bothered by the things around. So probably things like breathing, a lot of visualization. And as much as like a first time finalist can be quite exciting, you know, to just want to absorb all the, you know, excitement of the final haul. Um, but I believe uh, most of these finalists are quite seasoned. It's not the first one. Oh yeah, definitely. Possibly for this Norwegian girl. I think it's her first final. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see who, who comes up top today. Who do you think is the maybe favorite of this uh, of this final today? I would say it will be Anna. <laughs> <laughs> I would, yeah, I would agree. I would agree, especially when we had uh, Yuri Brivatsky, who won a gold in Cairo, yeah. come here now today and won a gold. You could really see that he took that momentum and yeah. is uh, really surfing the wave yeah. of success. Yeah, it's good for them, and uh, especially Anna. She topped the qualifications yeah. earlier today, so um, that shows you know she's good. But then you know this is the final, and everyone has a chance to win anything anything can really happen over here i think that's a beautiful thing about shooting you know there's no perfect perfect uh, way to shoot you can be it's very inclusive you can be either a male or female you know the world records for a woman is always um sometimes it can be quite shocking you know sometimes yeah. we can shoot better than a man so yeah. it goes to show that you know anyone can shoot your your gender doesn't really matter here and uh, your body your physics it doesn't matter you can be of any size of any height um, I think that's one of the beautiful things about the sport so you like many others shoot the 50 meter and the 10 meter rifle as well and we see uh, many of these athletes who are here in the final today as well shoot both of these disciplines what would you find to be the biggest difference between uh, these two disciplines even though they're both very technical yeah, I would say both are quite technical and they have their own fun in that sense. You know, in air rifle, it's very indoors. Um, there's not much uh, external factors to affect you. You know, in the outdoor shooting, we have the wind, we have the light, um, we have the weather. So that can fluctuate things a little bit. And 
it's a different event, so it, I would say it's like a different sport. Just because uh, mm-hmm. you shoot 10 meters doesn't necessarily mean you'll be good in 50. Um, but we do have uh, shooters that are good in both events. I love doing both events personally. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we just try to have like fun in each, and especially here in Granada, it's only 10 meters, so mm-hmm. it's also a different kind of composition. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like a little bit less pressured when you come to a competition and you know you're doing just one event? Personally, I felt that I had a lot of free time this ah, time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because it's not we're not used to having you know just a 10 meter World mm-hmm. Cup. We would usually have both events, and you know you try to match your timings and maximize as much as possible. So, but it's nice to have some extra time to you know just sightsee around here in Granada. You know, I haven't Absolutely. been here for 10 years. The last oh, wow. time I was here was in 2014 for the World Championships, mm. uh, my first one, and uh, my first World Cup in 2013. So I was very young back then. Um, so to be back here in the final hall as a commentator is uh, quite exciting, actually. <laughs> well, I'm very glad that you're here with us. Uh, once again, This was this these are the eight finalists we get to see today in the 10 meter air rifle women's event the last event of this wonderful world cup here in uh, granada 2014 that was the year that you won the silver yeah. as well at the youth olympic games yeah. how was that um 2014 was actually a very exciting year for me i was only 14 years old 15 years old mm-hmm. and uh, it was also the year i won the gold medal at the world cup in munich oh wow so i was the kind of you know made history being the yep. youngest medalist uh, for you know to win a world cup medal it was a very interesting year because you know other than the youth olympic games we had the asian games the commonwealth games the world champs it was a very you know big big year for One shooting uh, and i was only fif- 14 no. 15 so i was very very young and it was exciting it was a different kind of Ten. phase in my life mm-hmm. where you know i had to i i witnessed a lot of things you know over the years of my of career course, yeah. uh, the change of shooters so i always find it very interesting to observe these over the years yeah it's been fun <laughs> <laughs> it definitely has been fun uh I'm, I'm i'm curious you had such a big success uh, at such a young age would you say that that affected you differently than maybe somebody who had a gradual growth and success over the years yeah i mean i would say i had success in the sport much earlier mm-hmm. than uh, maybe my peers my training peers back then it was a different kind of pressure because you know at a such a young age um, you experience all of these and the expectations were a lot the pressure was a lot and as a young kid you won't be able to understand you know yeah. your feelings better now that I'm much older you know mm-hmm. 10 years older I look back and I reflect that you know it wasn't easy what I went through but at a time as a kid um, it was fun um, the pressures were there but I was also blessed to be in the right in a good uh, sporting system to have a good support um, but that did mean you know I had to sacrifice a lot of things you know because mm-hmm. you know as a, as a young kid I was still in school yeah and trying to do the sport I was basically doing the sports full time and when yeah. I was not shooting I was studying you know that that sort of thing yeah, yeah. I get it but that was your path yeah. um yeah let's look at the scores a little bit they started off with some uh some thin tens and now they're gradually coming into the center of the target. We have some 10.6s there from Meseros and Stankiewicz, 10.7 from Kwan. Uh, good shooting, Janssen shooting a 10.7 as well. Would you say they're finding themselves pretty stably in the yeah, first Yeah, that's good. I mean, to have a good start can also give them good confidence, like moving in. Um, because you know every 24 shots in the final does count and yeah. uh, it's important that to have a good start and they are able to maintain that consistency will be very good. Mesorosh is actually a pretty pretty fast uh, shooter I've, I've noticed. She's yeah. always kind of the first one on the trigger and she's always always most of the time the first one to wrap up the series mm-hmm. and uh, a pretty good score of 50 or 1.8 I think the men had uh, even a higher score, but uh, I think Janssen is on her way there. If you can look at her uh, group over there, she is very much in the center of the target. Here she is for her first, sh- uh, for her fourth shot. Let's see what uh, what is going to be after the 10.8, because that's really, really close to the exact center of the target. Yeah, I think all these scores are very, very high mm. and they're dead center. I think uh, to even shoot below a 10.4 can be yeah. considered quite risky because we're yeah. now at the level that 
you just need that high big tens to be at the top of the final. It's interesting to see Norwal, uh, the 17 year old, she just wrapped up with a 10.6 and uh, a very strong round of 53.1. That's going to put her up there on the rank. Yes, it is a very, very good score for 53.1. That's a for a 10 shot series, that'll be 106. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is a good start, especially here in the final, where yeah. you know the feelings and uh, the adrenaline is very high. For her to be able to shoot such a high score, it's, it's good. Yeah, and we saw that uh, adrenaline did hit Miller a little bit, shooting an 8.9. That's really far out of the 10. And uh, do you think she can kind of come back from that? Yeah, I mean, it's quite tough for an 8.9 in air rifle, especially. It's really, really, really every tense uh, kind of matter. As I think anything below a 10.0 is hard to come back. But, you know, anything can happen. Maybe after this, she will get that fighting spirit back Stop. to just get her head back the in the game. We'll have to wait and see. But what the very interesting thing right now is, I think, is that the youngest of all the eight, the 17-year-old uh, just took over the lead. 53.1 is her round. That's approximately, a, a, a an average, a 10.6. Usually a 10.5 is very good uh, average, but a 10.6 will get you uh, to the top of the World uh, Cup uh, in the finals, I guess. Kwon is right up there, 0.1 of a difference. Uh, yeah. Right now we can see that there's basically no, not a very big difference between the first four anyway. So yeah. the whole half of the rank is uh, is pretty close with the with the scores, which means uh, we're gonna have to wait and see for the next series, and maybe that will bring us a little bit more clarity. Yeah, uh, if these girls are able to you know maintain their momentum and continue that into the second series, I would say they would have like a strong uh, you know foundation and moving into the single shots. Mazrush again with the first shot. It was a 10.7 yesterday. Uh, we saw that a fast pace that she takes when she was shooting with uh, her mixed teammate Penny in the bronze uh, medal match. And Ayansen won a gold yesterday in the mixed team event as well. That could uh, help her out today. But uh, that slim 10, as you said, shooting below a 10.4 is already pretty pretty yeah, on the edge. Yeah, so it's like uh, really, you know, to be in the final, you need to be so mentally focused and be so composed whether you shoot like a, a bad shot, which let's say even at 10.1, you can see on the faces of these shooters, they're not happy with it. Absolutely. Yeah, so they just oh, need to. Yeah. Nicely, 10.9 for Janssen. She's yes. uh, definitely come back from yeah. that 10.1. Yeah, so uh, that's like the level that we all aspire to be. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you decide uh, how to when to pull on the trigger in the finals? I'm not asking for qualification. Mm -hmm. Finals. Okay, so personally, I feel that my rhythm in the qualification and the final is slightly different because, mm -hmm. uh, of course, you know, the nerves and everything. And the just, you know, now we have the time limit. Yeah. Um, and you try to, you know, just... I can't really say when I shoot, but I do shoot faster in the final because mm -hmm. more ex excitement and everything. Um, but then it goes down to, you know, different athletes, as you can tell, the Hungarian shooter, she shoots really fast. Um, some shooters try to take their own sweet time and just try to maximize the time they are given for these five shots or single shots. Am I right in thinking that Janssen just had two 10.9s in a row? I think, think it looks so. like <laughs> it. It looks like it, and it definitely the the ranking is yeah. showing that yes. potentially she yeah. is up. Uh, yep, yes. she's up, up there, in the rank, uh, taking the taking the lead now. Yeah, it's it's crazy how much the sport has grown in the last ten years. As someone who has seen, you know, um, when I first started as a shooter, it was a raw score, so it was still like four hundred, and you know, oh yeah, oh I, yeah. I was still at the time, so you know, <laughs> and. And um, yeah, so now we have gone to decimals and every single decimal counts mm -hmm. your equipment. Um, there's other things that to be, you know, considered to, you know, reach this highest level of shooting. Yeah. So when you try, when you're getting ready, um, 
how long does it take you to to be completely ready take all the equipment on the shoes the trousers the jacket button it all up um actually i one time i did tie myself okay yeah. <laughs> so that took Great. me <laughs> took me about seven minutes <laughs> Minutes. Yeah, but then you know, with the preparation time before that, you know, before a match, you would need to cater time to warm up, to do some dry firing, or you know, at the dry firing area. But you know, from the moment I wear my socks to the shoes, yeah. Look oh, we that. have two ten point nines, uh, one from the Norwegian and one from the French. <laughs> I think uh, the the scores are crazy today with yeah. the women. The men were really really good, but yeah. the women are showing some exquisite uh, yeah, shooting today and what a like way look at oh another 10.9 <laughs> it's a 10.9 galore today here at the <laughs> rifle woman finals <laughs> it looks like it i think they had like six or seven in this uh round of yep. five only look at these results yes go on at the top with 105.8 with I, I which i think you would agree it's a very good score yes, it for is like a, a very good score in, even in qualification where you're calm and uh, a little yeah. bit more calm for yeah. sure and for her to shoot this ending this five shot series of a 10.9 i think she's yeah. feeling very good about herself uh coming uh beating the uh norwegian girl so this might be a time when uh, nerves start getting even higher as we're moving into the single shots how do you feel about that having uh, 50 seconds for one shot i i mean i know that uh when you have the rifle you're kind of aiming and I, I didn't really see uh, I don't really see frequently uh, the athletes in rifle shooting deciding not to shoot that shot which happens in, in pistol yeah. but when you're shooting pistol and you have 50 seconds you don't really have time mm -hmm. to cancel the shot mm -hmm. uh, how does it go in rifle? I think 50 seconds you know it is a rule that all of us have to abide to so some people shoot fast some people try to maximize it as much as possible um, but I think there is time if you train yourself enough you would know how much time you have to let's say you're not happy with it and you want to cancel the shot there is time um, but yeah it varies from shooter to shooter it was 10.9 yeah. in the five shot series now it's a 10.8 yeah <laughs> <I> <laughs> <see> <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Madeline uh, Miller as well look at that yes uh, everyone's really shooting these deep tens and no one's you know falling out from these uh, they are not forgiving today. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> here to fight, and I think we can both see that. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a, it's a crazy final in uh, Cairo, I remember, in the last day. It was also a, a pretty, pretty crazy one with both the men's competition and the women's competition. We had a world record as well yeah. from uh, Panwar in yes. the men's event. So that, yeah, as the technology moves on and as the equipment gets better and better, I feel like uh, this is getting uh, crazy, crazy. Yeah, the possibilities are honestly endless with this uh, decimal scoring. You know, there really is still nothing that can stop us. Yeah, Ossian Miller, she's currently in the red zone. She did not really come back from that uh, 8.9 that she had. You can see a dip in her stats there. Yeah. And that might cost her the finals, but still, there is, uh, I guess, some hope. Uh, yeah. But not, not anymore, I would say. It's looking pretty. But I think she fought pretty good after yeah, that 8.9 for her so difference to just be so 0 so 0.9 so at yeah. the eighth place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She fought back hard, but as I already said, uh, yeah. they're not forgiven yes. today. <laughs> the ladies are not <laughs> uh, not taking no, it easy. <laughs> no, you don't have one a single moment to relax. Eighth place for Ossian Miller, the 21-year-old from France. 2022 was a really good year for Miller. Um, hopefully, uh, she comes back yet again. But not every season is for every athlete. And a really great thing uh, with shooting sports is that you can uh, actually have a pretty long career. So you don't have to have every year for yourself. Yeah, I mean, especially, you know, with the sport, there's no age limit. As long as you take care of yourself properly, you know, to, to go and have a long career. Um, yeah, you can. You, there's no end, end age. 
Absolutely. Again, the differences are super slim. Things can change as we go down the road. So I don't even think it's a... Uh, it's definitely not set in stone. Nothing is set yeah. in stone as we're looking at this. Uh, here's uh, Stankiewicz and her stats. She was going above and beyond with this little blip she had into a 9.9, .9, but then back again into a very stable 10 and even above uh, the 10.5. Yeah, we can see these girls are shooting you know, above 10.5 on average mm -hmm. to, to maintain their, mm -hmm. their place in the final. Look at that, a 10.8 from yeah. Stankiewicz. Now, Piotrowska and Mesaroz kind of over there in the, in the red zone, in the danger zone, to be eliminated in the next round for the seventh place. Yeah. We have to wait and see what happens because it's a slim, slim difference. Even, uh, even Madalena could, might be in that uh, red zone over there with them. It's all within one point and anything can happen over here. I do think it's amazing having a 17-year-old Perennial Norwalk. Yeah, yeah she is uh, one of the ones leading the final. Yeah. And it will be quite exciting to see how this ends for her. Absolutely. Let's see Mazzaro. She is a point 0.5 of a difference, I think, behind. And, uh, yeah, we've seen her shoot better than this. And yeah. actually, yesterday she had oh really, she really great. 10.7. Yeah. Yeah. That might help out, but Piotrowska is 10.3, which is uh, point we'll four see, of yeah. a difference. Mm. Let's have it be official. I will not call on anything just yet. <laughs> Go on, shoot the last shot at 10.6, and oh. uh, look at that. <laughs> have a shoot off. <laughs> I am not, uh, I'm definitely not surprised we have a shoot off in this final, yeah. honestly. Everyone here is so close today, the variation is just, it's good. <laughs> there was a shoot off in the women's uh, pistol finals as well for the gold medal. Yeah, I saw that one, yeah, that was, was very wild. intense. It was yeah. wild. Mezeros and Madalena. And uh, the shoot-off shot, given uh, an opportunity for everybody else to rest a bit. Oh, what a moment to shoot a 10.8. And what a poker face yeah, she has. Yeah, she's just maintaining her composure. <laughs> Sage Mandelena, it was a hard, it was a hard thing to come to a 10.8 in the shoot-off. This is such a high, high competition, high pressure final. Yes, uh, and to have it end off with a shoot off shot, you know, it, it can be quite yeah. intense. Seventh place for Sajin uh, Madalena, 30 year old from uh, USA. In uh, 2022, she was here in Granada for the ISSF uh, Grand Prix, actually. She won a bronze medal in the 50-meter three-position competition. Yeah, I believe Sajin shoots both the 10-meter and 50-meters, yeah. and she's good in both. Yeah. As is uh, most of these ladies over here. Uh, I think it's getting... Sometimes it can be a little bit co cold here in the final hall. Um, but yeah, honestly, it. <laughs> but honestly, once we start with the finals and everybody is here, it's getting it gets warmer and yeah, warmer and warmer, warm. and with the tension and everything, yes. it gets pretty hot. Yeah, I mean, with the final hall, it's very full today. Yeah, yeah and definitely. With more people, you know, it get it does get warm over here. Norwell has been going like up and down a little bit, but she had those strong tens that kind of like keep her up as uh, as much as possible throughout the finals. Yeah. She's doing pretty well. Everybody is. Petrovska, yeah. 10.8. Mesaros, 10.7. Let's see Stankiewicz. She should say 10.7. 10 10.7. <laughs> no one is really backing down in <laughs> <No>. this <laughs> final. 
Ooh, could you hear yeah, that? Could you hear the, <laughs> the crowd? You know, really that a 10.1 is not enough. Yeah, I mean, who reacts to 10.1 exactly. like that? That doesn't happen usually that, no. that much. These are some, wow, results are crazy high today. You really can't shoot a bad 10, you know, and to, to win the final. Mazarosh is, uh, well, again in the danger zone. She, she managed to slip back in through a shoot-off, but uh, Piotrowska is right there as well. It's only 0.2 of a difference, which means I feel like this might be a duel between the two ladies in the next uh, shot. Mm, actually, I would say the top four, anything can happen. Yeah. The, the, the difference is just so small. 50 seconds on the clock. The decision for the sixth place. Very stable shooting from uh, Piotrowska. Um, yeah. It's really nice. Like if I would say if it was a different final, I would say that this is a even first or second or third place, but she's placed fifth <laughs> with this kind of stats. Yes. Everyone has to shoot well today. Like an average 10.5 is good, but all these high, high 10s are exactly. here. Exactly. One has a bit of a slower rhythm. And then everybody else keeps us uh, on the edge of our seats no. by the very end. 10.5. So Sixth place has been decided at this World Cup representing Hungary. Put your hands together for Esther Meserov. Esther fought. Crazily good, really, really good, uh, especially with that 10.8 in the shoot off and yeah. staying in the finals. But uh, I think it's really a great experience for every single athlete here today because you don't really get to have this high of a competition yeah. every single time. And uh, sixth place in this kind of a final, wow, actually it is, wow. It is a win. And then especially when you know she had the shoot off earlier, and for her to come out uh, sixth place is a good feat. Pietrovska still stays in the game, but 1.5 of a difference, which might be just a too big of a difference to overcome in a in a well in a final <laughs> such as this one. If I have to mention that again, Anna Janssen. Uh, is in the fourth place. Uh, nice difference between her and uh, Pietrowska. So she, I wouldn't say she's in the red zone. She might be in the orange zone by now. But yeah, she had some, uh, yeah, she did have those two 10.9s in yes, a row. Uh, and then she plummeted good. down a little bit, but she is, uh, she's kind of back up. So yeah. if she keeps this for now, she, she might be safe. 10.4. Didn't think I would ever say that, but uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> not as good of a shot as we as we thought. Anticipated, yeah. yeah. We'll see what uh, Yunji shows us this time. Wow! Oh, wow! Ten point eight. <laughs> ten point eight. Yeah, that one point four of a difference. We still haven't gotten to that uh, place of the fourth place, which uh, I think kind of shows that everybody is pretty much under pressure because the results sometimes show us that uh, things are happening and everybody kind of knows that the next one is for a medal or no yeah. medal, which is yeah. a big decision. But yes. we're still not there yet. Uh, we will be after the next after the next shot. Uh, Pietrowska. We'll see who uh, finishes in the fifth place. Mm. Uh. 1.4 of a difference. I yeah. think we already mentioned there's a pretty high difference in this kind of a kind of a final, such as this one. Yes. So we'll 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 see if for the 22 year old. Yeah. yeah. We'll see if she can fight it, you know, with all the good shots. It's a 10.7. She, she did ba basically everything she could, but yeah. look at those scores. 10.9 okay. <laughs> from Janssen once again. We should have kept a score of how many were there. Probably. <laughs> no, I think it's already <laughs> over 10. <laughs> Kwon Undi oh. shoots a 10.2, but she did not get the same response yeah. as when she I mean <laughs> shot a 10.1. Yeah. Yulia in 
fifth place. Yulia Piotrowska leaving uh, Aneta Stankiewicz to be the only Polish athlete yes. left in the final. Stankiewicz is now in the fourth place and Janssen of course climbed up uh, with that 10.9. Uh, that is uh, not a surprise but th this is crazy how, how close these four are which means that uh, it's really going to be a big question for the next two shots. Yeah, it is a 0 0.5 difference from the fourth place to the first place and these yeah. also determines the medal standings mm -hmm. right after this. Would your heartbeat uh, go faster now? Mm, it depends. Maybe not. But, like, you know, we just have to keep focused and not think too much of the results. Do you pay attention to this course? Uh, no, actually, I don't. Okay. I try not to mm -hmm. um, because, you know, this can affect y shooter to of shooter. Course. Of course. Um, I think I'll only see if I'm going to get eliminated or not. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. And you kind of have a feeling about yeah. that, I'm sure. Yeah, sometimes. Once it's happening, you're like, oh, it yeah. might be me. But things like this, when the level is so high, you never know whether you'll get el eliminated. Exactly. I mean, again, what a round for the women. We'll see what Unji finishes with. A 10.7. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's uh, still a 0.5 of a difference only, it's half of a point, and it can just, yes. again, it's really, really not. Anybody <laughs> can <laughs> fall out at this point, actually. <laughs> they, they absolutely have no space for a mistake, yeah, not even a small mistake. Yeah. I don't even think a 10.2 would be forgiven at this point. Exactly, and you can hear the audience behind, there's a lot of commotion, you know, because absolutely. this is a medal we're fighting for. Yeah. I can be basically any of the four women right here uh, winning the first place. And uh, this is the one shot to the side. Yes. Oh, just the one that I mentioned. Mm. <laughs> it's the commentator's curse, as they <laughs> say. <laughs> oh. oh, I wow. called it. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot All of people. Right. Oh, you can see the Janssen expressions of the athlete. Really happy, but I think she is. Uh, she might be safe still because Norwell shot a 10.2 as well. Okay. Oh. Wow. Come we on. have a sh another shoot off. Oh, for the bronze medal. Oh. Janssen <laughs> took a deep breath over there. Yeah. She did not want to be in that. <laughs> yeah, shot. I can tell. I can feel that. The 17-year-old uh, from Norway. I mean. This is absolutely, absolutely crazy. I, I was talking to uh, Henrik Larsson, actually. He was her teammate in the, p in the rifle mixed team event. And he was mentioning her being only 17, coming here, getting the, you know, the opportunity to even shoot at the World Cup. Yeah. And not only that she's shooting in the World Cup, she's shooting, shooting in a, a shoot off for, for a medal. For a medal, yeah. Let's see. It's a 10.2. Oh. <laughs> Oh! Yeah. You can see the displeasure <sighs> on her face. What a moment. Yeah. I have goosebumps. Yeah, I do. Because, <laughs> you know, the level, they've been shooting so well. And to finish off fourth in such a high level final, I think it's. It's honestly crazy. <laughs> but it's such a good experience it and is. it's the Olympic year and I think that if nothing she can take this experience and really, really integrate it and in her strength and power to move on. Fourth place for Aneta Stankiewicz. Yes. She already I mean this year she to be fair, she won the bronze in the last World Cup. So yeah. I think she's not gonna be that devastated mm -hmm. when this day ends for yeah. sure today it's not going to be the easiest thing to to kind of process yeah. but uh, i think oh. the big thing with athletes in general is like you have to move on yeah and uh you know we just have our competitions uh. all so close to each other we yeah. don't have so much time to dwell about it yeah 
so and that might not be a bad thing, you know. Yeah, but I on. think she did really good today. Absolutely, regardless. absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you can't be sad. It was a really high score and a really nice, nice shot. Yeah. In the end, it was that one that mm -hmm. kind of was the, the deciding one. Jansen, not too happy with the 10.4, and uh, yeah, you mentioned the 10.4 in this kind <laughs> of a in this kind of a final it might not be the best shot. Definitely not. I think you need at least a 10.7 on average. Yeah, like Norwell did and took over Jansen's second position in the rank. Actually, yes, took the lead over her by a point two of a difference, and uh, she's definitely showing the future of the Norwegian teams we already have and seen uh, so many good athletes from Norway Jeanette uh, Hegdustad as well Jenny Stenne if I'm if I'm right now coming in a 17 year old uh, perennial Norwell I mean they are uh, they're actually a pretty pretty strong team yeah it's always good to see young blood you know fresh faces here in the yeah. World Cup series um, and it's exciting to know that you know these strong countries are really doing a good job in like you know producing the next generation of talent. The stats are impeccable with Norwell. She shot now even a 10.5. She's holding her composure and Ao Jansen Ao into a 10.1. I think she is uh, very much aware it's going to be a yeah. bronze medal. Oh, I went into a 10.1 for uh, Kwon as well, but uh, she had enough of uh, advantage to not fall out, though. Yeah. But for Anna, it wasn't. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't the same story. Anna Janssen of Germany going home uh, with a gold from the mixed team event and now a bronze from the individual competition. I think uh, she can be pretty pleased and I'm definitely gonna have that question for her later yeah. on in the interviews. I think it's been crazy, you know, especially in the first two shot absolutely, series. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, five shot series, you know, uh, she shot really, really well. Yeah, and had those 10.9s. Yeah. But in the end, she is uh, at the podium of a, of a crazy yeah. good uh, final such as this one. Point one of a difference. This is the same thing that happened with Istvan Penny and Yeri <laughs> Privratsky in the men's event. Okay, and now we're repeating it. <laughs> and now we're repeating it just with the women. Yeah, we have two shots, so anything can really happen over here. Yeah, grand finale at the ISSF World Cup for rifle and pistol in Granada 2024. Pernil Norwell shoots a 10.2. Yeah. We still have a chance here. And it's really close between these two athletes. Oh, oh another 10.1 for Kwon. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think the nerves and the atmosphere are starting to get into her. Absolutely, and to get into all of them, actually. And now they're actually tied at the 23rd shot. <laughs> wow. Wow. can see them taking like deep breathing exercises just to calm down even i as a commentator yeah feel it. yeah me can too. you imagine what the athletes are feeling i think they're very grateful to the announcer jamie stengram for yeah. talking a little bit longer just to <laughs> give them a moment to take a breath yeah that extra time they need to just you know calm down the spectators oh good one Juan needs to go above and beyond here wow oh. it's not the end until it's the last shot you know <laughs> Absolutely, in the end, point one yeah. of the difference. You can see the joy in her face. And absolutely. The, the winning <laughs> shot for yeah. Kwon Unji, the gold medalist of the ISSF World Cup in yes, Granada yes, 2024, the second World Cup of uh, this Olympic 
season that is happening here and a, and a wonderful silver medal for yes. Pernil Norwal, the 17-year-old from Norway. I think that's the biggest surprise of this competition today and uh, a, a wonderful surprise that is. Yeah, it was a really exciting final until the very last shot and to just uh, for Yunji to beat Norwal by like a point one, you know, it really was crazy today. It was basically a shoot off shot in the end. <laughs> yeah. That's a wrap up on this uh, competition. Anna Janssen uh, with the bronze. Pernil Norwell with the silver. 17 years old. 17 first, years uh, old. Individual senior World Cup medal. Yeah, and a very, very shiny gold medal today, yeah. I would say. <laughs> to Yunji. Kwon Unji of Korea. You can see her big, big smiles, you know, you know, all the feelings that she was having throughout the entire final. Very happy for her. Absolutely amazing. Well, Martina, thank you so much for commentating thank on you, this Martina. with me. <laughs> it was easier to have somebody with me over here sharing these, <laughs> these emotions moments. and yeah. experience. Yeah. It goes to show the, sh the sport is really interesting, and because it it's is. the Olympic year, you could see the high Absolutely. level. Absolutely. Absolutely. Really, really intense. Thank you so much. I'm going to jump into some interviews with uh, the winners, and well, I'll see you at the next one. Thank you. of Germany winning the bronze medal in an absolutely crazy final. How are you feeling? Uh, overwhelmed, probably. It was just amazing how great they scored. It was just crazy. <laughs> Too tight. <laughs> Does this bronze have a different kind of shine with the, when the final is so crazy? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the scores were so great and they really did a great job and I'm just happy to have the bronze medal, to be honest. You're going away with the gold from the mixed team and now the bronze, uh, you're going into the European uh, Championship. How do you kind of replenish after this kind of a competition? I mean, it's a bit difficult because the pressure is, of course, a bit higher for me, but I try to just gain confidence because of the finals here and I'm just happy to, to continue shooting like this. Do you feel that your form is right now at, at the top? Yeah, I mean, 
of course there's still some some things to adjust or to evolve um, improve improve exactly but uh, yeah definitely I'm happy I mean the season so far has been great and I can't complain is that a preparation for the Olympics as well let's hope <laughs> yeah. we're gonna leave it at that congratulations once again and see you at the next one thank you So a silver medal, but a huge, a huge shine on that silver medal for you, Pernil Norwell. You're only 17. How are you feeling? Really good. Um, I was super nervous, but I think I'm an outsider kind of. So I just thought, just make the best out of it. And it's just, it was super fun. So did you feel like the underdog in the competition? Yeah, kind of. It was like, um kind of the youngest and the least experienced one so just have fun you definitely were and i have to tell you that not every final is this high scores and you really kept it well what was going through your mind just pull the trigger just do it the longer you stay the more uncomfortable the situation gets so i had to just do it Single tasking it is in the, in the end. Uh, by the end, you were kind of you were shooting those really really strong tens, and then by the end, going a little outside to a 10.1, 10.2. Was that pressure? Was that being a little bit tired of everything that's going on? A little bit tired. I was super nervous and couldn't hold still. I didn't have any strength left, kind of. So I just had to make a go for it and it was a 10.1 and a 10.2 so I'm really thankful that it was at least in the 10 because it didn't feel like it so <laughs> yeah it was just kind of it wasn't luck but it felt like it it ended up pretty well congratulations and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see you see you more thanks you And finally, the biggest shining medal today over here, Kwon Un Ji. This is your first gold, and in a in this way, how is it? How are you feeling? World Cup is the medal. 처음 따는 거잖아요. 그 기분이 어떻는지 어땠는지. 어 진짜 너무 기뻐서 눈물 날것 같은 기분. She's so happy that she wants to cry. It was tenseful by the end. Uh, those tens were getting a little bit wide. What was going on? Was it the tension of the finals? 
마지막에 가기 전에 약간 점수가 이렇게 떨어지겠는데 그때 어, 어떤 느낌이 있었길래 이렇게 약간 좀 흔들렸는지 어 느낌은 없었고 그냥 좀 쳐져서 똑같은 곳에 또 똑같이 쏜쏜거 그래서 그냥 이제 마지막 발에는 그렇게만 안 하자 하고 더 집중해졌어요. Uh, her shot was uh, off shot was similar point places, so she tried to avoid that mistake on the final shot, so that worked. Mm -hmm. Was it like the way you pulled on the trigger? 그 당길 때뭐 이렇게 해서 내려 그 그때 이제 좀안 맞았던 건지 안 맞는 게두 번에 좀두 번에 10점 일이 있었잖아요. 그때 그때가 왜 그랬는지. 어 자세 밸런스가 조금. 틀어져서 mm. 그런 거 같아요. So the balance wasn't uh, right at the time. The same, it was happened same thing. So in the final shot, she did it differently. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Are you preparing for the Olympics? Olympic 준비하고 있는지. 네, 지금 계속 준비하는 과정입니다. Actually, this is one of her step trying for the Olympics, and this is a training for her. Yes. I was just going to ask that. Well, it was a pretty good training, I have to say. Congratulations once again. I think. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's a wrap up on this uh, wonderful competition here in Granada, the World Cup of ISSF for rifle and pistol. And what a wrap up it was. Uh, continue to follow the ISSF YouTube channel and Facebook page. We're also on Instagram. You can find us anywhere. There's going to be more exciting news. Until